Hey guys, this is another walk around for a potential buyer because I can only go so long. So, like I said, I used some orange touch-up I had from another Jeep um, that was close but not perfect. So, the touch-up could be done a little bit better on them few chips. There's actually one up on the hood there. Uh, like I said, but th this Jeep, you know, nothing is perfect. I've said that every time. But this Jeep is one of the nicest I've ever seen. And like I said, the flares got a little stress on them because they're fiberglass. And they painted them gloss. I probably wouldn't have done that. I'd have just left them matte black. But they wanted them to be a little fancier. Um, like I said, the uh, there's, there's a little touch-up here and there. Um, that if I were to have the correct touch-up mixed up, it would match really much better. But it's a Jeep. You know what I mean? So... There is a little spot on this hard door where somebody opened it up against something. Um, you could probably push that back a little bit with a 2 by 4 I've done that in the past on many cars. But like I said, there's, there's, there's chips here and there. The thing has been driven since it's been done. Um, and, you know, from taking the hard doors off and on, there's always some, some visual on that. But, you know, if you live anywhere where things rushed... The underneath of this is why you're buying it honestly i i don't the things you know way nicer than most jeeps need to be but it's still you know not perfect but as far as the undercarriage goes you know i i don't i wouldn't even care if i had to repaint this jeep i'd just ask more money for it if somebody wanted a perfect showpiece but if i mean the wear that it has on it is from typical driving and if you're going to drive it it's, it's going to happen so anyways but uh that's uh, just a, a quick walk around for a couple of people who have asked me about it. Um, I've already did all this in the first video showing the inside, but I'm showing it again. There's pictures of the the uh, the motor in the first video. This was just to show the chips up a little bit closer so people could see. Because again, I you know it, the Jeep is what it is, and and it's pretty awesome if you ask me. But uh, anyways. Um, could you still use a little bit of elbow grease on some things? Like I said, I'd, I'd get some other touch-up mixed up. Those things would be almost invisible at that point. There is a little surface rust on the front of these chrome lights, which is inevitable if they get wet. Or even people who don't dry their stuff after they wash it, that stuff happens. But uh, there you go. Just a, another walk around for a potential buyer. There you go.